what is the hardest most terrifying thing for a person change change is hard but nothing truly worth doing is easy that's why i set up heaven hill and new vision academy based on the concept of non violence and free education for all my students they read they learn how to use computer they learn how to cook food we have a garden as well so they know how to farm my school motto is proud of the past skills for the future so they need to know the skills for survival therefore they can become independent and i'm very happy to share my teaching style my view on education how i run the school and my ideology but the problem is nobody likes change in nepal violence in e school is very common in 1810 nepali children suffer violent discipline and do we know that when the person has a violent in the child can lead to violent characteristics in the later life and the unicef survey in 2018 found that the boys who suffer violent in discipline more likely to beat their spouse and children when they became an adults that's why the cycle of violence continues in the society the caste system is so rooted in its culture which makes hard for the different sectors of society to integrate and often impossible for social mobility caste system is based on the family you are born into and affects your whole life from beginning to attending to a school to your later life to your career but i believe education should transcend the caste system when i was 28 I became principal in a private school in my hometown. Then I tried to instill the ideas of non-violence, respect, and reward. But some of the parents they just came to me and asked me. to hear their kids because that is all they knew in the parents meeting i tried to convince them the non violence is the way forward but they would just laugh at me because change is scary then i realized I needed to create an alternative. Then I decided to build Heaven Hill and New Vision Academy. Easy peasy, right? Yeah. Before I tell you how, let me tell you why. 
I was born in a very poor family. I had to boil leaves to make ink myself to write down. Can you imagine? I went to free government school, but poverty still kept the children out of going to school because free doesn't mean free. When you need to pay for your books, your notebooks, your uniform, your school bag, your little admission fee, or whatever. I remember washing and drying my notebooks on a clothesline to reuse it again. The caste system is so ingrained in the society. If anyone from a lower caste gave me food, my parents and grandparents would not allow me to eat it. The lower caste, known as untouchables in the society, and they would not enter my house. And when I didn't, when sometimes I didn't do good at school, sometimes if I didn't finish my homework or completed the lessons, the teacher would beat me. I hate it going to school. I would hide in the rice field. And my mother, of course, she would go and to try to find me. And when she found me, she would beat me as well. So, if I went to school, I got beaten. If I didn't go to school, I got beaten. So what a choice for a child to have. So being beaten all the time made me so angry. And I resented the adults around me. That's not how the children should feel at any time, especially when they are trying to shape for their future. And when I was in grade nine, I had an amazing English teacher who never resorted violence in the classroom. He showed me the alternative way. Then, for the first time in my life, he made me stop and ask three questions. Why we accept the school system where students are traumatized for life? Why are not all the children deserves free and high quality education? The last one is there another way? Then he motivated me to work hard, then enjoy learning. Then I went on to university to study English. The value of that one teacher using non-violence teaching method was a turning point for my life. He made me the person I am today. I'm not the principal just who sits behind the desk, one who gets involved with teaching, building relationship, creating respect, and using the word over using stick. Then, when I first wanted to build my school, the local government and the schools around my village, they didn't give me permission to open because change is threatening. But I believed in my idea with all my heart. So I continue to strive to make it a reality. And finally, I managed to convince district level to give me a license. I already had a very good reputation in the community. I started my school with 40 kids. So word got around 
there was a new school on the block where kids could learn to cook, to use internet, to dance, go camping, not get heat, and it's totally free. Good deal, right? Yeah, but school was going great. Yeah, children love to come to school. Even they come to school, before one hour the lesson is start. And they like to come to school on school holidays too. They just ask me, can you come to school on Saturday? Oh, I'm sorry, you cannot come. Yeah, everything was going great. And again, when I went back to the office to ask, great to permission, they didn't want to give me it again. Then I realized this was going to happen every year. These obstacles will keep on reappearing and getting harder to overcome as the school becomes more successful. I was frustrating and sometimes I felt very low. I was not asking for funding. Resources, teachers, just asking a paper so that says we can stay on and upgrade our classrooms. And even for this piece of paper, I paid. Because change is hard. I must continue to strive because giving up is not an option. But I face the same hurdle every year. Anyway, now the school is thriving. We have seven grades in Heaven Hill and three grades in New Vision Learning Academy. We have lots of ideas and donations from all over the world because people believe in what we are doing. Because of that, we are adding lot of new ideas and additions in our academy. Now we have four Down syndrome in our academy and we offer them horse therapy to build their self-confidence and to make them relax. We have tutors who go to a boy and a girl who have broken their legs to make sure that they don't fall behind in their studies. We pick up the kids who live very far, over one and a half hour away, and who are very young, to make sure that they can attend their school. And finally, last year, I felt vindicated for my methods and efforts when I received Teaching Excellence Award. And this year, I am one of the top 50 finalists in a Global Teacher Prize, which is Nobel Prize for the teachers, out of thousands of teachers from all over the world. Thank you so much. Since these awards, I have been to local schools around my village to share my ideas how to teach without violence method using positive reinforcement methods. We use reward through gamification. If the student finish their work on time, they get to play games, which reinforce the lesson learned and reward the good behavior. Our education, based on respect, trust, and building relationship with the kids, then they love 
to come to school and they want to learn. Rather than afraid or resent us like I did with my teacher. But some still were not convinced because change is difficult. Now going forward, I'm worried about my grade one permission for New Vision Academy because I continue to face the same hurdle. But I'm thinking I will sleep outside their office if that's what it takes. Because failure is not an option and anything is possible if you never give up. Thank you so much. So my message today, no matter where you come from, your circumstances, everyone has a power to make a difference. We might not be able to change how the parents treat their children at home, but we can make them happy at least six days in a week, six hours in a day while they are in our academy. We might not be able to eradicate the world's poverty, but we can give them hope for the better future to these kids in our community. So one good teacher lead me to build all this. My old English teacher, Mr. Dinanath. Imagine a whole country of school teachers that follow this ethos could do for generation of Nepalese. Because change is necessary. Because change is positive. Because change is inevitable if we don't stop striving. Thank you so much.